hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here please make yourself comfortable by subscribing and please turn on the bell as well thank you so much so in my last update about this is fate parmi tells the family that prita intentionally lost akshay's phone so that karan can remain in the jail so that she she would not have to go back to the jail and prita goes to karan to tell karan everything that she discovered about mahira but prita was shocked after karan said that he trusts Mahira that Mahira is not the murderer. That was our last update. Let's continue from there. Karan explains that he is not taking anyone's side, but he knows that Mahira cannot be the murderer. Karan says that when he was at the hotel, Mahira was always with him and she cannot kill anyone. Prita says that what is the point? Because Mahira could have come back after killing Akshay. Karan says that Mahira was always with him that day and Mahira only came back to the house after Samir called. Prita gets frustrated saying that Karan must not talk about Mahira in this manner because she doesn't like it when Karan talks like this about Mahira because Mahira is not a nice girl. Karan assures Prita that he is sure that Mahira cannot be the murderer and Karan asks if Prita is jealous but Prita says no. Karan then apologizes for talking about Mahira but Prita was not interested and Prita temporarily forgives Karan and explains that when Karan comes back to the house, then she will take her revenge. Prita says that she needs to go back and find out who the real murderer is if Mahira did not kill Akshay. Samir was playing on his phone and Shruti was really worried. Shruti asks that how can Samir be so calm while she is really worried of how Karan will react when Prita reveals the entire truth to him. Samir asks that what is Shruti trying to say and Shruti says that she wants them to go and try to find out how did Mahira actually kill Akshay. And Samir also agrees and Shruti and Samir leave to find out the truth from Mahira. Samir asks that what trick should they use but Shruti says that she has a plan. Sherlin who was coming from behind was excited thinking that now Mahira will pay the price for deceiving her. Sherlin sees Pritfi coming and Sherlin smiles and Pritfi asks that what is the reason for Sherlin smiling. Sherlin says that Pritfi might be thinking that she is smiling after seeing his cuteness but that is not the case and she is only smiling because of her cleverness. Sherlin says that she heard Samir and Shruti talking and they are both planning to interrogate Mahira. Pritvi asks if Sherlin thinks that what she has done is a really big achievement but that is not the case because even though Sherlin was able to deceive them now then they are all going to figure out later. Sherlin shouted at Pritvi and asked him to stop because whenever she makes a plan then Pritvi always has something to say that will ruin everything. Sherlin asks if Pritfi thinks that she would forgive Mahira so easily after what she did to her and Sherlin vows to take her revenge from Mahira not knowing that Mahira was actually standing behind her. Pritfi tries to signal to Sherlin that Mahira is listening to their conversation but Sherlin doesn't listen and Pritfi forced Sherlin to turn and Sherlin was shocked after seeing Mahira. Pritfi feels worried that everything has been ruined now. And Sherlin asks that why did Pritfi not tell her that Mahira was standing behind her. Pritfi explains that he tried to warn Sherlin, but Sherlin did not listen. And Pritfi quickly leaves, saying that Sherlin should carry on because he needs to do some work. Mahira comes to Sherlin and asks that what happened because she feels that Sherlin is up to no good. Sherlin tries to refuse, saying that there's nothing, but Mahira says that she knows that whenever Sherlin says that there's nothing, then there's always something. Sherlin assures Mahira that they are still friends, but Mahira warns Sherlin that if Sherlin ever tries to go against her, then Sherlin will pay the price. Mahira purposely throws juice on Sherlin, and Mahira says that if Sherlin needs to talk to her, then Sherlin should come to the garden, and Sherlin thinks that Mahira has made arrangements for her. Mahira walks downstairs, and Pami comes there and asks Mahira that where is she going to, and can she also come with her to the garden where they will talk without any problem. Pami asks Mahira that when is Mahira leaving their house because every guest always have to leave the house after a while and it is the ritual that whenever the guest is leaving then they are presented with the Kalish and gifts. Prita walks into a room where Shruti and Samir were waiting and Shruti and Samir tells Prita that they are going to find proof in Mahira's room. Prita stops them saying that there's no need because Karan says that Mahira was with him the day of the murder so Mahira can never be the murderer. Prita, Samir and Shruti see Sohail who comes with Akshay's phone and Samir asks if the phone was repaired but Sohail says that they cannot play the video on the phone because the files are corrupted. Prita collected the phone. They cannot see the videos on Akshay's phone but they can still make call 
and they decided to call the number that was stored as background number three and the phone started ringing they searched for the phone and then they were shocked to see that the phone was in Shailene's room. They quickly entered Shailene's room and Prita delete the contact history from Shailene's room so that Shailene would not get suspicious and they rushed out of the room. Prita explains that she is now sure that Mayra is not the murderer so they will now find the slippers that the thief wore on the day that they tried to steal Akshay's phone and that will be the only proof that is going to help them. Prita advised Shriti and Samir to stop Mayra and she will go and search for the slippers. Mayra was with Pami and Mayra explains that they have talked enough so she needs to go because there are some important work that she needs to do. Pami refused to let Mayra leave and Pami says that Mayra is staying in their house just the same way her mother entered the house of her friend and Mayra warns Pami that she is just respecting Pami because of her age. Pami explains to Mahira that she is trying to figure out why Mahira is still in their house and Mahira replies that it is because of Karan. Pami was worried and Pami says that but Karan is married. So why is Mahira waiting in their house because of Karan? Mahira was not concerned and Mahira thinks that she will call her father who will be able to save Karan because her father has already helped a lot of criminals and Mahira walks out of the room. But then, Prita was finally able to find the slippers. Shriti tries to stop Mayra from entering her room, but Mayra doesn't want to even listen to Shriti, and Mayra leaves after pushing Shriti away. Shriti wonders how she can stop Mayra, because if Mayra enters her room, then she will find Prita. Then Shailene will come out of her room and she will be alerted that they are still trying to search for background number 3. Prita rushed into the bathroom, where she washes and dries the slippers, and she rushed out of the room quickly. Mahira was about to walk into her room but Samir bumps into Mahira and Samir apologized but Mahira asks that why did Samir have to bump into her. Samir explains that Mahira is really looking nice in her dress and Samir asks that where did Mahira buy her dress from because he also wants to buy the same thing for Shriti because Shriti's dressing sense is not good. Mahira says that nothing will look good on Shriti and Mahira walks away. Shriti asks Samir that what is wrong with her dress and if Samir has started liking Mahira and Samir tries to defend himself. Shailene was in her bathroom washing her clothes and Prita opens the door. Shailene thinks that she heard the door opening but then Shailene doubts her senses and then Shailene therefore walks out of the bathroom and she checked but she couldn't find anyone so she thinks that it might be a mistake and then she goes back to the bathroom. Prita quickly comes out of the curtain in Shailene's room and Prita quickly goes outside. Shailene thinks that she has really heard someone going out of her room. Mayra was walking up the stairs and Mayra sees Prita and Mayra asks that what is going on. Prita immediately says that there is something going on and Prita asks if Pami did not say something to Mahira and she was the one that asked Pami to say all those things to Mahira. Mayra remembered when Pami said awful things about her mother and Mayra vows that she will never let Prita win. Prita comes back to Shruti and Samiru and Shruti and Samiru ask Prita if she has already done what she came to do. Prita explains that she was successful and she cleaned the slippers that they found outside Mayra's room and she placed it in front of the bathroom. Shruti asks if Shailene has seen the slippers and if she might be wearing it now. Prita says that no one wears the same slippers in the house so they have to find the truth about the murderer. Shriti decided to call Shailene's phone from Akshay's phone but before they were able to make the call, someone else calls on Shailene's phone and Shriti gets mad and she was about to open Shailene's door. Shailene comes out asking what they are all doing and Shriti was really furious and she asks Shailene to reveal what she is planning. Shailene asks that what is Shriti saying and Shriti is just saying whatever comes to her mouth. Prita takes Shailene's side, explaining that the situation has gotten really worse since morning which is why Shruti is taking out her anger on Shailene. They were talking, then Raki comes there and asks that what is going on. Samir says that they were just talking, and Raki explains that Rishab is on the video call with her, and Rishab is worried about Shailene, and Rishab says that he has been trying to call Shailene, but Shailene did not respond. Shailene tells Raki that her phone was on silent, and that is why she did not hear, and Raki and Shailene leaves. Shruti was really angry and Prita was forced to take Shruti away. Raki helped Shailene to come to the laptop and then, as both Shailene and Rishab started talking, Raki tries to leave. Rishab stops Raki asking that where is she going to. Raki says that she has some work to do and she leaves. 
Rishab asks Sherlyn about her health, apologizing for not being there to take care of her, but he is hopeful that Sherlyn is taking care of herself. And Sherlyn says that yes, she is taking care of herself. And Rishab explains to Sherlyn that he just talked with Karan. Sherlyn was surprised that Rishab was able to speak to Karan on phone while Karan was in the jail. And Rishab explains that the inspector is a family friend, and that was why he allowed him to call Karan on the phone. Rishab tells Sherlyn that he doesn't know why Karan did it. But before he could scold Karan, Karan asked him what he would do if he was in his place and he answered Karan that he would have done the same thing. Rishab says that he told Karan that he loves Sherlyn but he cannot answer the question that he is asking. Sherlyn asks if this means that Rishab doesn't love her the same way that Karan loves Prita. But Rishab quickly says that they will talk about it later because he has a meeting and everyone is waiting for him. Rishab, after ending the call, wonders what has gotten into Sherlyn because Sherlyn was talking about love early in the morning and Rishab feels that he made a mistake after talking about Karan because he knows that if he ever does anything to care about Sherlyn, then it is because Sherlyn is pregnant and nothing more. Shruti asks that why are they holding Sherlyn because they have to go after Sherlyn because Sherlyn is really clever and she is trying to put her blame on someone else. Samir asks Prita to see how Shruti is talking and Shruti asks Samir that why is he interfering when she is talking with her sister. Shruti explains that they have to worry about the situation because it is a situation of murder. Prita says that they all know that it is a matter of murder and Shruti says that she has a plan to take Shailene and place a knife on her neck and she will threaten her but Prita says that they cannot act like murderers. Samir says that he would go and talk politely with Shailene but Shruti and Prita both explain that this is not a suitable plan. Shruti asks Prita to accept her plan because they have to get the confession out of Sherlyn. But Prita was not ready to take such step because Sherlyn is pregnant. Shruti, however, asks that what is the need to worry about Sherlyn when Sherlyn doesn't even care for anyone and Samir comes up with another plan. Shruti stops Samir from saying his plan, saying that Samir's plans are always not suitable. But Prita lets Samir speak. And then Samir says that they will call Shailene and try to blackmail her and then Shailene will confess to them. Shruti says that this is a really old plan but Prita says that this plan can really work. So they all agree to call Shailene and blackmail her. Karan was playing with the ball in the cell and Raki enters from behind. Raki was really happy to see Karan playing and Karan's ball comes out of the cell to Raki's feet. Raki picks up the ball and Karan after turning was really happy to see Raki. Karan made a comment that Raki is really looking beautiful and happy because Raki knows that he will surely come out of the jail. Raki was also happy to see Karan and Raki says that she really misses Karan. Sherlyn enters her room, thinking that Trisha was not able to resist the fact that he has started loving her as a husband, but this is not necessary because of the child, and she would have told Pritfi if he was in the house. Sherlyn gets a call from an unknown number, and Sherlyn thinks that it might be Risha and maybe Risha would not have been able to resist talking to her. Sherlyn answers the call talking in a polite voice, but the caller explains that they have the proof that Sherlyn was involved in Akshay's murder, so Sherlyn must come to meet them at 4 p.m. Otherwise, Sherlyn would land in a lot of trouble. Sherlyn was shocked after the caller ends the call, and Sherlyn wonders who it might be that is actually blackmailing her. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching till the end and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share this video, comment and subscribe and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.